Hello, my queens. Is that what you're called now? Because I just said so, therefore it's Levitical law. Your occurred. Okay, so I like my hair the way it is, but I also want to have a mental breakdown, and I'm gonna fuck with, fucking destroy my hair first. So what I did is I took like a third of the like the bleach I just like took a third of it Is this literally all I'm doing? We love lightening our super dark, extra dark brown hair. So like, I'm only lightening like this half of my hair. So if it gets like burnt, then I can just hack it off, you know? Right? I'm just like rubbing this through my hair and realizing how gross my hair is. It's like eight o'clock when I'm filming this right now. Like I just got off the phone FaceTime with like some of my middle schooler friends. And apparently one of them got held back and I'm like, it's middle school, how do you get held back? But, Okay, so I'm gonna be a junior when they get to when they're when they're freshies. So like, that's like a while away. Like me, amigas. So I'm waiting for my hair to start melting. So now I just need to wait like 20 minutes, but that's boring. So I'm not gonna make you sit through that. I wouldn't wanna watch someone sit there and talk for 20 minutes about why they're dying their hair. So I'm just gonna like keep talking for like a couple hot minutes. Like instead of waxing and ranting, it's dying my hair for like the 35th time and ranting. Okay, this is actually only the second time I've ever dyed my hair, but it's been like three weeks since I did it last. Like. Who is this queen? And why does, like, and why is she dyeing her hair again? It's because high school is hard for me. So, and I just watched a TikTok that said, for youths, the reason why when they have a mental breakdown, they dye their hair is because uh, we can't buy cars or do something stupid or buy a ton of money. So what do we do that's cheap and relatively doesn't have any bad, like, things after it, dyeing your hair, big brain, like, I'm so smart, like, you can't even keep up with me, so, like, honestly, high school's been really difficult, like, it's been hard, it's like, it's not even that different from middle school, it's just that I'm lazy, my and cheese. I'm turning on the sink to wash the bleach off my gloves. Well, I know they provide gloves so you can like throw them out, but I don't want to waste these gloves. Cause like, I have two thirds of a bottle of bleach left, like to use. Why would I waste it with like, these gloves? Like, we can let her dry. So like, let's get back to what I was saying about high school. Like, oh my gosh. 
There's so much walking and like I get tired. Like I'm an active person. Semi active person at this. And I've been getting like so lightheaded, more so than like normal lightheaded. Like I've almost passed out. Like nobody wants that. I don't want that. It's just so much further too. I'm like, I'm not even in, I'm only in two above level classes. So I'm taking like geophys, but like you actually have to like do work. And like, I did not sign up for that. You know, I signed up for these easy classes because they were going to be easy. Like, I don't want to be here. I feel like there's water in my glove, but there's no water in my glove. Like, I feel like I should be having fun, but, like, everybody's getting their varsity jackets, and I'm so jealous, because, like, why can't I get a varsity jacket? So I'm planning on join joining bowling just to get a varsity jacket, because I also really like bowling, because bowling's so fun, though, right? Who doesn't like bowling? I certainly love bowling. I think it's so entertaining. Like, imagine getting a college scholarship for bowling. Like... Sign me up. But one thing that I also kind of hate is that we already are starting to, we already have to start thinking of this college. I'm like, I'm a freshman. Like, why do I need to worry about this? Why do I need to worry about scholarship opportunities? It's because, I'm like, the school, and like the college system never has like, doesn't have like enough spaces for new students because like everybody in Gen Z is going to college because our parents think that you have to go to college so like what are, where are we going to college what about after college Excuse you, there's going to be like a labor shortage of like unskilled labor. So we're going to have highly skilled employees working mediocre jobs because they're the only ones that are available. And on, what jobs are even going to be available in this like next coming century, I suppose? Who knows? Who knows? Because the germ market's all closed off. The real estate market's all closed off because it's all being held up by the boomers and the Gen Xers. So, like, we can't do anything. Like, all I can do here is complain on the internet and dye my hair again. It's just, it can be hard. And I know that's coming from a very privileged standpoint. Because it is. I'm privileged. Well, like... I'm, I'm white in America. That's enough privilege to unto itself. Little tissue packets. It's like, speaking of little tissue packets, what about like waste? Mm -hmm. Like, what about waste in America? Like, I came home from school today and like, I live in suburbia. Like, white suburbia, like, next to the school, even got that, like, well, we don't have, like, the street bully. Because, like, okay, like, everyone's nice in our neighborhood, sort of. There's some less than nice people, but the kids were all nice. But, like, I saw people with three, four cans of garbage. Because I haven't looked at it in so long, because, like... I normally walk along the side of the road and watch whatever YouTube video came out of when I left school. And it's really odd to think about how you're producing that much garbage. I have a bag of garbage in my room right now. A full on glad large size, normal size bag in my room full of garbage. Like, what can we do about this? Like, I try not to create a ton of waste, but like not getting, like not getting bags and like getting, using like refillable drinks and recycling. But there's so much that just isn't recyclable. 
Wow, she's getting warm. That's kind of scary. Cause like my hair is gonna start cooking now. But it's just concerning. Cause like there's so many things. Plus like the decade of our youth is coming to e the end. Like what is, we've re already entered the age of Aquarius. Things are changing, but nothing really is, feels like it's actually changing. Cause it's all just new coats of paint. Like what are you gonna do? I feel like I'm all over the place, but at the same time, why shouldn't I be all, have the right to be all over the place? Life is all over the place. Why can't I be? Also, look at how blue this is going to be. If it shows up this blue on, like, darker hairs. Like, it's going to be neon, baby. But it's just sister stressful to think about the world I'm growing up to be in. I'm like, wh where am I going to be in the world, you know? Just like with the, waving around a pair of scissors, like, boom. Welcome to the internet? No, because you know you're. I'm self-conscious and I'm going to get a college degree or I'm going to kill myself. Probably both. No, it's either I die in freshman year of college or I don't die at all. Yeah, I've decided on that. Because, like, I'm so privileged, yet I'm so out of the loop. I'm sorry, there was something that showed up on my phone. It's like, I have the privilege of having my life here where it is, yet I don't have the privilege of, ha of being able to have a working environment when I'm an adult. Or to have a good college education. Because there's going to be so many students. Because have you seen, I, this is a while back, but one university it was running out full of hotels for students because what do you think is going to happen with the new influx of college students like looking for a higher education? Oh wow, this is getting so light. Like what? Like, it's only been in for 10 minutes, so I have 10 more minutes of watching this get lighter and lighter. Dude, I'm kind of nervous. Like, I'm so nervous, though. Like, I mean, I get to save this bottle of, like, hair dye, which I personally love that because that means that I don't have to waste half the bottle. Like I almost invited one of my junior friends over to like, cause they want to dye some of their hair blue. Sorry, let me get this resituated. And I was like, hey, I have a ton of hair dye that I don't use because I have, I'm just dyeing the top of my head. Come use it. And they're like, oh yeah, I have homework because let's face it, when you're a junior, you have homework that lasts all night. Like, I'm out here chugging monsters because, like, what else is there in life? Stay awake and watch YouTube, then die. Slow, miserable, painful death. Hmm. Did it chugging battery acid, I mean monster, every day for, so far, a month and a half. Addictions. Gotta love it. Honestly, talking about addictions, let's talk about vaping. Like, kids are get dying and getting addicted to vaping. For like, and they're, they're dead. What happens to the kids who have been vaping already who aren't dead yet? What's happening to their like nervous system and stuff? Like, I'm worried. Especially about some of my friends, like, who vape. Like, that's pretty close to death. Like, I don't, I wanna die, but you shouldn't have to. So that's just my like opinions on the political climate. So I feel like posting all of these immediately. So I don't know. I'm gonna just post a part two later tonight. So I'm gonna say goodbye to you and see you in probably soon. I'm just gonna upload this to YouTube now. Bye.